The Ebola virus is part of the Phyloveridae family, composed of three genera and five species. It is these species which have been associated with large outbreaks in Africa. But the virus causing the most recent 2014 West African outbreak belongs to the Zaire species. The first documented outbreak of Ebola was in 1976 in Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo where a total of 602 people were infected, resulting in 431 deaths. Since this time, there has been multiple outbreaks ranging in severity and scope. However, the most recent outbreak in 2014 has been the largest to date. It is thought that fruit bats are the natural hosts of the virus would spread through bodily secretions to other animals such as chimps, gorillas, monkeys, etc. and then spread to humans through similar mechanisms. It is actually very difficult to become infected with Ebola since human to human contact requires the contact to direct bodily fluids. And even with direct contact to bodily fluids, the virus would still need a way into your body, such as a cut on your skin or direct contact on mucous membranes. Despite the hysteria in the media, Ebola does not easily spread in the air and is not easily contracted. Transmission becomes more of a problem when there is poor sanitation, weak health systems, and poor infrastructure, as is the case in West Africa, where the transmission of Ebola has become an epidemic. The incubation period, or in other words, the time from infection with the virus to onset of symptoms, is anywhere from 2 to 21 days. Given this, humans are not infectious until they develop symptoms. So the first symptoms are very vague. They include the sudden onset of fevers, fatigue, body aches, headache, and sore throat. And not to add fuel to a flame, but these symptoms are so vague that you would never even expect that you had Ebola. But within the following days, symptoms progress to vomiting, diarrhea, then impaired kidney and liver function, and in some cases, both internal and external bleeding. In terms of treatment, there is no proven effective treatment. The medical care of someone infected with Ebola at this time includes IV fluid hydration, the management of electrolytes, and symptomatic treatment only. And even though it is not easily transmissible, infection of the Ebola virus is unfortunately often deadly. Infection with the virus historically presents with a mortality rate averaging around 70%. Or in other words, 7 in 10 people infected with the virus will die. <laughs> 